that you've got your uh, Krita software downloaded and you've created a new Krita file, let's actually get used to the basics of Krita. Um, so what you've got here, this space in the middle, that is your canvas. This is really just like any other traditional software uh, that involves creating or working with graphics. That is your canvas. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say about that. Over on the left is um, your tools. These are the main tools that you would use within Krita. There are a wide range of tools here, uh, from text to shapes to some line tools. We will look at these line tools in another video. Um, today we're actually going to be working with the shape tools. Um, and we're going to make a nice scene, actually, eventually. Now, before we do that, it's really important we look at another part of the software. If we head on over to the right-hand side of the software, you will see a section here called Layers, or a tab, actually. Um, now, this is crucial, because every, what, I, what I always try to do is I always try to ensure every uh, item or object in my Krita file should have its own layer that is unique to itself. Um, when you're first making simple graphics, it might be quick to make you think, well, what's the point of that? Um, the more complicated your graphics get, you'll find it's a lot easier if every image is on its own layer. Let's, I know we've got a layer here already. Um, I, I don't really care about that one. I'm just going to create a new layer on top anyways. So down below here, where you've got this square with the plus, just click that arrow. And you should see a menu appear. My biggest recommendation is you really want to work in the vector layer. Okay, the vector layer is the best one to work in because you can put in vector shapes and you can edit them after. If you ever run into an issue where you put a shape down on Krita and it's not letting you edit it, that is 100% because you are not using a vector layer okay now as well as using the vector layer, it does help to name them um i'm just going to call this square okay and you can probably guess what i'm going to put in this layer uh i'm going to put a circle no, no i'll put a square so i'm going to set a square and now i'm going to draw the square by clicking and dragging I mean, I know that's not square, it's more of a rectangle, but hey, there you go. All right, here we go. A bit more of a square now. Now, what you notice I did, after I, after I had uh, drawn the square, I went over to the arrow tool up there. This allows me to select the square, and it actually allows me to edit the square a little bit more. Okay, so I've got my square. Um, now, over on the right-hand side on the panel, you can see some tool options. Okay. There is a tool for the lines. This allows you to edit uh, the outline of the shape that you're working in. Um, so in this case, I am going to make my shape outline black. Okay. I'm also going to change the thickness. So you can see it's 40. You can change it to anything at all. Make it 500, see how thick it goes. Um, I normally, when I'm making graphics, I kind of go for a 4 or a 5. Okay. Um, and then you can use the fill option, that paint bucket, and you can look at that. You can click the solid and you can change its color. Amazing. There we go. I actually want a lighter green, I think. Okay. Fantastic. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just drag this shape down. I'm going to uh, you know, resize it. Now what I'm actually going to do is, I'm actually going to uh, create a bit of scenery. I'm going to create a park uh, scene here. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm actually going to change my square. I'm going to call that there grass. So I'm now going to add uh, some sky. Now before I go to add the sky in, I'm going to add a new vector layer. Call it sky. Go to the rectangle tool, drag it in. There we go, you can see it's there. Select it. Change the outline to black, make the thickness 
five. Go to the fill tool. Uh, select solid. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, that's what it is. Already blue. Okay, there we go. It's blue. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Now I'm going to add the sun. Okay, so I'm going to add a new layer. Make sure it's a vector layer. Uh, I'm going to call that sun. Okay. Uh, add the circle tool, and now I'm going to just create a nice little circle. Now you can see here the circle isn't visible. The reason is because the last colour I used was blue, so if it's actually turned my sun blue. Um, that's fine. If you grab the arrow tool and just select in the area where you approximately drew the circle, it should select it for you. Um, I'm going to give it a fill of that colour right there. It's kind of like an orangey yellow. Um, and give it an outline of black. Make it thickness. Five. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to have no line there. Yeah, I prefer that. No line. Put that up there. Okay. Now, I'm going to make some clouds. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick I do when I make clouds um, with circles. Have a watch of this. Okay. So, I'm going to draw a circle there. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to give it a, a black outline make it five and the fill is going to be white okay um, I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm kind of just going to make them uh, go on top of each other and you can see I'm just kind of Putting them one on top of the other. Maybe you can kind of see the uh, the cloud forming. Um, now I'm going to put more on top, but this time I'm going to change the shape so it has no outline. I'm going to keep doing this so that eventually we cover all of those black lines that are in the center. Of our cloud. There we go, that's all right. Now, one thing I've done that's not so good is actually this cloud is actually in the sun layer, but that's okay. I'm just going to highlight all of that. Uh, I'm going to cut it with Control X, or you can cut it on the, the edit menu. Um, I'm going to add a new vector layer and call it cloud. Okay, and now I can just paste it in. So, there we go. And I can now copy and paste that. So I've now got two clouds. And there we go. That's a pretty simple um, park. Got some grass, with some sky. I've got you know the sun and the clouds in the sky. It's looking all right. And that was just made with some simple shapes. I'm sure you can add more things. In fact, you could probably uh, get away with that. Uh, copying those clouds and turning them green and putting it on the ground could be some bushes there's all sorts you can do with some simple vector shapes in fact look you could even i could i could actually turn this into a beach so there you go that's everything you need to know about using the simple uh, vector shape tools in creta